How to make a ham noodle sandwich. It's not that hard. It's very easy. First, you need a pack of noodles, some ham. Yeah, yeah, some, yeah, some, some ham, some ham. Yeah, this is the best ham to get, the cheapest way to go. Some S-Bar, honey ham, yeah, snack style, yeah. And you get you some bread, and you're going to fillet. You're going to start off with putting your, your meat in the microwave. You're going to put it in there for a minute and a half, two slices at a time. It's going to give it a crispy brown, crispy dip. Then you turn around and you put a piece on it, put some Miracle Whip. Ain't no good sandwich, a good sandwich without Miracle Whip. So we're going to show you this is the way I'm going to do it. Um, this is the first stage. You put one slice on this side. You put another slice on that side. Then you're going to turn around and you're going to take another piece of ham. And you're going to place it on this side just like that. Yeah, you want to fillet the ham like you don't want it just to be all rainy and juicy. Though. You want it kind of ham. You're going to put a ham right there. You're going to put a ham right there. You're going to ham it out like that. Like wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. You're going to put one slice of ham on each piece of bread, just like that. Then you're going to take the noodle and you're going to open it up just like this. All right, you open the noodle just like this, okay? And then you're going to turn around, you're going to fillet the noodle. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Damn. Damn. You go, oh, God made dirt. It was a five-second rule. It wasn't on the ground five seconds. Okay, you're going you to fillet the noodle in two. Just like that. You see, when you look at the noodle like that, it's a double layer. So you're going to pull it apart. Okay, you're going to pull it apart like this. Watch this. You're going to split it, bam. Just like this. It's supposed to be two layers. Then you're going to turn around, and you're going to put it right back in the damn pack. Take, remove the, um, the seasoning pack, and you place it right back in the pack, exactly how it came back, how it came in. I ain't got no cameraman, so... I'm just showing y'all, this is the way I'm doing my food video. You might not like my damn video, but this is a snack, of course. How to cook a ham noodle sack. God damn it. Okay. Now you put the noodle right back in the pack like this. You go to the sink, just like this. And you want to, what you want to do is, you want to penetrate the noodle. You want to soak it, fill it up with water, just like that. All the way up, just like that. Then you want to dump all the water out, right? You want to fill it back up again, just like that. You want to dump all the water out, right? Just like that. Then you turn around, take the noodle, just like that. Okay, okay just like that. And you put it in the microwave, just like that. Just like that. One minute, and let it rock. You go 30 seconds, you put it on 30 seconds. Well, you put it on a minute. I mean, 30 seconds, you stop it and you flip it. And then you should get an ending result just like this. After 30 seconds, it should be ding, 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 ding. And it'll be ready. It'll be ready. It'll be ready. Yeah, snack it this out. Yeah, this is how you make a uh, noodle ham sandwich. Yeah, yo. Free world style. Okay. Okay. Bam, bam. Wham, bam, bam. This is the way to do it. This is the way to do it. Okay, you should, um. When you get the noodle, you should be able to open it up just like that. <laughs> That's kind of hot. Kind of burn my lips. Good lord. Okay. I don't have a, a tri stick. I think this will work right here. Nigga rig TV. Yeah, this is what I call nigga rig. See, I just made it. Okay. We're going to open it up just like this. And when you open it up, you should have a filet noodle. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, the noodles should fillet apart just like that, just like that. And the way I do it is to put the seasoning in it. Put just sprinkle just a little across there, just like that, just like that. Wham bam. Now you know no great sandwich. Is a great sandwich, American sandwich without cheese. So I'm using American cheddar. This the portable cheese that you ain't got to, you know, you can buy it and you ain't got to worry about it, you know, you know, deteriorating on you. So this the way I get the cheese. You put a little cheese on it. Wham, bam. 
this done went up the price like the damn price of gas. Damn, this used to be two for five dollars. Now they five dollars a can. Jesus, going up like the price of gasoline. Oh my God. Okay, okay. And when you finish your sandwiches, they should be duplicated just like this. Let me, I'm gonna show y'all how good and delicious these should look. See, this is a ham, cheese, damn noodle sandwich. You can't beat it. Snackable style. This is a survival way. This noodle costs, um, you get four for a dollar at Walmart. I got this S bar ham at, um, you get a whole pound. It was a whole pound for two dollars. You know how many sandwiches I made out of that pound? You know, and this is one extra piece of meat left. And what'd you do with the extra piece of meat? Just like if it was a, uh, honey ham. You can't beat that. 97% fat free. I don't know. Just the part of the pig that didn't have no fat on it. Okay. At the end of the day, your ending result should be just like this. Auntie Fee said you can't cook in the microwave. I just cooked this whole sandwich in the microwave, the noodles, the ham, and all. Everything but the bread. You don't put bread in the microwave because don't make it like toast and make it like gum. And I need something that's going to be soft on my dentures. Uh, um, yeah, so this is the way your ending results should look. How to make a ham cheese noodle sandwich. Free world style. You got all the uh, ingredients that you would have in the penitentiary, but you actually, you create them in the free world. And this sandwich right here at a cost, I paid $2 for this. And, I'm, and, I, and that's it. Okay, so you take two out of, out of one pound of ham. It was um two slices. Anyway, this sandwich ain't costing you a dollar. It has bread, cheese, um, noodles, ham, Miracle Whip, and all. Now to push that. If you like my video, continue to watch. And I'm going to show you how Jesus fed 5,000 people with two loaves of bread and um, two fishes. Yeah, that's what they said. Two loaves of bread and two fishes. You know, you can cut this sandwich in half and you can feed four people. Because this noodle alone with the ham, that's a complete meal. You got meat, bread, starch, grease, flavor, everything. Flavor, flavor, chicken flavor. Yeah, anyways. This is one of Mr. Snaggapuss, how to um, Snaggapuss Trap Kitchen, how to create your own, you know, economy meals at an affordable price when you can't afford it. Like, if, you, if your budget is set up like a certain way, you know, people, um, yeah, they get mad at me. But I'd rather teach a man how to feed himself than to give him some of my own food. Then I had to feed that nigga for the, no, I can't afford to feed the nigga. I'd rather clothe you than feed you. Am I the only one? Okay. Please, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to me. Um, I'm the motorhome homeless um, comedian from So So, Mississippi that don't nobody like. Uh, don't give no opportunity, so I create my own. This is Mr. Snaggapush Trap Kitchen, and you're finna um, eat a Snaggapush bite, and I hope you like it. If you do, tell me how you feel. Leave the comments in the comment section, and follow me. Yeah, because I'm finna go somewhere. Yeah, I'm going somewhere. Oh, I'm gonna die trying. One of the two.